Assalamu alaikum, this is Sir Fawad Akhtar Ansari, Computer Science Teacher. Uh, I made a presentation regarding the revised syllabus and the chapter is Data Representation. The content of this chapter uh, regarding the new syllabus okay, is uh, adding two positive number, right? The topic is number system and in the number system we will study new syllabus content versus add two positive eight bit binary numbers understand the concept of overflow and tools complement using positive and negative bit topic is number system and we are only studying the new syllabus content okay now add add two positive eight bit binary numbers binary addition okay there is a rule that we have to follow or we must understand means zero plus zero equals to zero 1 plus 0 equals to 1, 1 plus 1 equals to 10, binary for the I2. I will explain you this later. 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals to 11, binary for the I3. I will explain you later. So these are the four fundamental components that we must understand, we must learn. It will help us to do binary addition. Okay. So first of all learn this that 0 plus 0 equals to 0, 1 plus 0 equals to 1, 1 plus 1 equals to 10 and 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals to 11. You have to learn this component. Now for example I have two numbers 0 1 and 1 0. So 0 1 and 1 0 after plus means 1 plus 0 becomes 1 and 0 plus 1 becomes 1. So this is the adding of the two uh, uh, binary numbers right now in the second case we have got two bits and a three bits now we have to add one plus one equals to ten with the carry of one one plus zero equals to one and one remains same so this is the binary addition between two values okay now if we do it using eight bits so one plus zero equals to one 1 plus 1 equals to 10 with a carry of 1 then 1 plus 1 equals to uh, 10 then 1 goes to carry then 1 plus 1 10 uh, sorry 1 plus 0 1 and uh, then 1 plus 1 10 and so on so you may see the rule over here as well 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 0 equals to 10 with the carry of 1 okay so when you dry run this question you will understand further that how did we do it 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 10 with the carry of 1 1 plus 1 10 then 1 plus 0 equals to 1 and so on so this is how you can do the binary addition this is another matter that if you want to check that whether this addition is correct or not so you have to convert first line into dinari and then convert second line into dinari right when you plus both of the numbers both of the values then let's suppose the dinari becomes 201 then your this answer must be converted into dinari as well then you will understand that if if it is 201 then it must be 201 as well right okay i uh, now switch to the next topic okay this is the questions uh, these are the questions that you have to solve find the sum of following binary numbers right try to do it uh, yourself dry run it and uh, best of luck okay now next topic is the overflow we already know that the computer used to perform 8 bit or 16 bits system but uh, if it is of 8 bits then it is limited to the resource of 8 bit sequence so the system is uh, forbidden to use 9 or 10 bit if the sender or receiver decides sending or receiving de device uh, decides to perform 8 bits so there is no concept of 9 bit or 10 bit because sender or receiving device decides to process 8 bits data so let's suppose these are the 8 bits and we have plus them added them so the answer must be in the 
9 bits right it could be 10 but we have to drop the 9 bit for example here you can see that 1 plus 1 becomes 10 and when you finish adding then it becomes here last number 1 so if you count it 1, uh, one 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so there is a 9 bit which is an extra bit right so our computer does not process it so it will drop this last ninth bit because it becomes an overflow so we have to get rid of this last ninth number or the tenth number to make our system process faster right okay now next Next topic is the two's complement of binary number. You can see here 1010, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 0. So, how can we make it in the two's complement? You can see that there are a number of sequences of 1s and zeros. So, what you have to do, the first step is switch this 0 into 1, means 0 must be converted into 1, 1 must be converted into 0, 1 must be converted into 0. 1 must be converted into 0, 0 must be converted into 1 and so on. So all the zeros becomes 1 and all the 1s becomes zeros. Now you have this figure 0 1 0 1 triple 0 1. Now you have to add plus 1. So when you plus 1 add it then it becomes this number and this is our two's complement of this question one zero one zero triple one zero that was a question and its two's complement is one zero one double zero one zero okay next topic is conversion positive denied to binary uh, now this is let's suppose a number deny number 27 and we have to convert it into the binary Keep in mind that this is a positive number, right? So first of all, we have to convert 27 into binary number. For example, this is the 27 number that we converted into binary, right? After that, we have to invert all of these ones to zero and all zeros to one. Okay? Then we have to plus one. This is last method, uh, last step. Plus one, zero plus one, one, and all the digits remain same. So this is a two's complement of number 27 and its binary number is triple one double zero one zero one. Okay. Now that two's complement of 27 to binary is triple one double zero one zero one. And we also consider it as negative decimal because next topic is the negative decimal. So whatever the positive denari is, we will also consider it in negative denari. Okay but we will study it later on it is just the intro of the next topic so this is how you can convert denari number into binary number using two's complement method okay this is a simple assignment that uh, you can do briefly explain how overflow occurs and question number two right try to solve it yourself and uh, if you have any query you may ask me on the whatsapp or facebook okay thank you so much today's class is over love is